Hey everybody, it's Jordan with PDQ.com. And we're back with another uh, video of the uh, Getting Started PDQ Products web series. Uh, this one we're talking about just the magic of custom packages. This is where the true power of PDQ Deploy comes through. I'm just gonna open up a blank one right now and we'll kind of go through all the options that it has. We offer a lot in the package library, but we can't offer everything. So if you have something that's custom to you, this is where you're gonna get a lot of that value. First thing we're gonna do, we're gonna name it Smart Deploy, that's what we're gonna build as the example. And if we go through for the conditions, you can see here you can have it based on OS architecture, uh, PowerShell version, if send anyone's logged on. You can have file registry or specific inventory collections. There's lots of different variables you can say, if none of these are met, then don't run it. So if it's a more finicky package or you need very specific uh, setup before it goes, you can have all these go and just make sure everything's the right environment for that to do a proper install. Uh, the next one is the options. We've got copy mode. If you're coming from a server to the machine, push is usually the best way to go. If it's more of uh, you have a server out there and a lot of different, different areas reaching out to it, you might want to come to pull and that has a machine go out to the server and pull it in there. We have push by default. Well, we're just going to keep that one. Uh, scanning, this is after it has deployed, this will scan the computer for you. So if there's any changes like the software you installed or added to it, it'll automatically update that and update any collections with the new information. Uh, run as, this is a very powerful option here. Uh, you have deploy user, which is the default. You deploy user interactive, which means it can pop up boxes for the user to hit uh, okay or yes or continue. Local system uh, runs just as a little bit different permission set as, uh, I don't know, I guess not really domain admin, but it's a lot of authority within the local system itself. And logged on user runs as the user that is logged on. Uh, you can change the custom timeout. We have an hour by default, but if it's something where if it's going too long, it probably hasn't succeeded, you can dial that in to get the exact so you're not wasting a bunch of resources. And the last one is offline settings. And by default, we just go based on global preferences, but you can change per package. Uh, so the top one is uh, ping before deployment and send wake on LAN. So ping before deployment is good because it'll just go out there. If the machine doesn't respond, it's not going to try to deploy. It's going to save you a lot of time. Uh, this next one is send wake on LAN. This is the magic packet. So if you have it where you can wake a machine with a ping, or they call it wake a ping, but it's a magic packet, sends that out there, that will turn the machine on, and then it will go into deployment after. And this next one is if you use the retry queue, whatever your settings are there, you can customize that. You can kind of fine tune and get your exact setting. And that's pretty much everything for the global settings. But now we're going to go into all the steps we offer. Uh, so we're just going to go to the steps here, and you can see here we have them all listed here. We're going to go to install last because that's the one we'll use for our example. We have command prompt. Uh, personally, with the next one down, PowerShell. I wouldn't be using that one a lot, but they're different. So whichever one you prefer. Uh, it's exactly what it says. It will either run a command or a bash file with command. Uh, PowerShell, you can run a PowerShell step. A nested package is if you have a lot of different software, say you have a new computer brought into your environment and it needs these six packages, you can have one package that goes through with an, and nests in all the software they need. And so you can have kind of a global control for all of that and then fine tune it for each package. It just makes it a central location to control all of that. File copy is exactly what it sounds like. It's basically X copy. Uh, scan, this one will do an inventory scan. So if you are doing something like install changes registry key, you can do this scan here. It will go through and you could do a registry scan, find out the registry key is there or not and continue on based on the results of that scan. Reboot, exactly what it sounds like. Reboot the machine and shut it down too if you'd like. Uh, sleep is exactly what it sounds like. Message is, it pops up a message for the user. Hey, we're going to install Widget Extreme. And log off, it just logs off a user. So if you have one where the software doesn't install, someone's logged on, you could have the global property or you could have the log off step where it says if someone is logged on, run this, log them off, and then it will go down to the next one. So it's just kind of a way to do some a little bit of maintenance for machines, especially if someone has gone home for the weekend and didn't log out when you sent out that email saying, hey, I'd really like to uh, make some changes to your computer this weekend. All right, another last one we didn't cover, install step. This is, uh, this is where most of the work is done. Uh, anything that can do an install, uh, you have your EXE, MSI, uh, I believe you can do a reg key in there, a VB script works, just a PowerShell file, anything that you can run in this to install, you can put in here and it will execute that uh, by, by default. As you see here, we have the default uh, success codes. You can add or modify those based on 
if you're looking for a very specific one, you can have it say a felt if you get that. Uh, but in this case, we're going to go and use an MSI, just because I think there's pretty something pretty cool with this one here. With the MSI, the silent install options are the same. There's no variation. It's, if it's MSI, these options here is how you do a silent install. If you're doing EXE or something else, you might have to come in here to the, uh, instead of MSI options, you'll have a silent parameters and you'll have to go through and figure out what the silent parameter is for that software and put that in there. So MSI, probably the easiest and quickest way to go. And now that we have all that, we have smart deploy, we can go ahead and uh, deploy smart deploy to whatever machine. Let's say uh, Thor. I don't even know if that one's turned on. Look at that, it goes. And that's everything you need to know about building your own custom package. Uh, for PDQ.com, I'm Jordan. <laughs>